meet my new friend Ying. Hi. She's the founder of Deja Vu, a platform <laughs> for secondhand goods, okay. mostly books, clothes, single AirPods, anything that you want, they have it. Okay. And how many users do you have? 10 million. To only 10 million? <laughs> yeah, 10 million. That's a lot of people. <laughs> My name is Wei Yong. I'm from China and I run a second-hand trading company online. The application is called Duo Zhua Yu in Chinese. You can find a lot of second-hand books and clothing like the shirts I wear is buy from our website. Now it's 10 million users in China, mainly around the age 20 to 45. I think it's about the concept of the environment protection in China. The new generation, they are not buy things new. They want to something unique, but second-hand goods give you a unique feeling. Oh, because all the second-hand items is only have one in a can, oh, so so it's like a treasure hunting. Now in the biggest city in China, like Beijing and Shanghai, the income of the citizens is really high. I think that's why because the economic is come to a certain stage that people uh, start to thinking. The income is not will uh, their income will not go growth higher and higher, uh, but there are certain uh, middle class people here in China, uh, and the middle class they have uh, uh, good education, they have a concept of the environmental uh, protection uh, like that, uh, so they start to try the lifestyle like uh, developed countries. In the past, the Chinese, uh, they don't have a habit of buying and selling secondhand goods because they are not much clothing everybody have. <laughs> if you only buy like uh, three items one year, you have nothing to sell. The growth of the economy is uh, a main reason for second-hand trading. The developed country, they have a lot of second-hand stores. It's because people have a lot of things. When the economic stop to growth, mm, everybody will think they own too much things. They buy too many new things. Yeah, but the, now the things uh, occupy their homes. <laughs> they are rethinking. Uh, it will uh, no longer bring happiness to people through buying things. We are not buy uh, just buy and selling things. We we do a lot of works through the logistics. We give new life to all the items we receive. It's like a, have a guilty feeling to buy too many things because. Uh, you know the income, the the gap of the rich and poor in China is very very deep. It's more deep in uh, than the developed country. Uh, in the largest city like Beijing and Shanghai, the rich people they have uh, a fortune like the <laughs> any other developed country. But in the rural area in China, the income is very low. So. Um, you will have a guilty feeling when you consuming a lot of things, uh, and you if you have a social responsibility, you you will think uh, the things I throw away maybe is need by somebody. Mm, yeah, uh, that's why I want to uh, sell the things to our website. And uh, instead of throwing it away, just throw it away. So I think it's a way to reduce the waste.